Hi guys, Summers here, and on the second day of pre-season testing, we already have some intrigue that has the paddock absolutely buzzing. Now, the focus is no longer on that Mercedes-alike Racing Point RP20, as it has shifted to a trick new system that Mercedes have been testing, nicknamed by them as DAS. Now, it was onboard footage of Hamilton's laps during the morning session that triggered this, as we could see the entire steering column moving backwards and forwards as he entered and exited corners. Honestly, I had to double take it as I thought in a sleep deprived state I'd actually not seen what was in front of me. Now no sooner had I gone off in search of a replay and footage from yesterday did I see Mark Priestley's tweet too and then the sudden slew of social media hype that grew up around it. Anyway, to explain what's going on, let's talk about why they'd want to do this in the first place. As a general rule of thumb, you would run the car with a toe out setting in order that you get more feel and better stability in the corners, sacrificing the issues caused along the straights. However, on the straights you'd really like to have more of a neutral setting, this way the tyre is no longer scrubbing as it rotates across the surface, giving you less rolling resistance, better tyre wear, less heat into the tyre and a small drag reduction. So Mercedes have, like any good F1 team, looked at this laterally and said, how can we run with adaptable toe settings? And in order to do this, the longitudinal movement of the steering wheel acts like an aircraft yoke, giving the pilot, which is in this case the Mercedes drivers, the option to trim things according to his desired parameters. So, as he pulls the steering wheel out on the straights, the wheels begin to tow in, improving tyre conditioning and boosting straight line performance. But, when he approaches a corner, the wheels are towed out and the car becomes much more stable for corner entry. This system in its own right is a wonderful example of engineering in Formula 1. But if we also consider that this has further ramifications to the suspension system and moreover the now ubiquitously adopted push rod on upright solution, it carries even further weight. POU, as it's known for short, sees the push rod mounted on an extension, rather than it being directly mounted to the lower wishbone. This trick that's become more and more popular and aggressive over the last few seasons creates an offset whereby the suspension is affected by the amount of steering lock that's applied. It's a function that's primarily derived from the aerodynamic benefits it brings, as it lowers the front end of the car whilst cornering, increasing the car's aerodynamic output. The downside to this, at least in the early days of the more aggressive solutions we were seeing, is that drivers didn't like the sort of dead zone that's created, as they felt a lack of feedback coming from the wheel, whilst it also wouldn't self-centre, making it feel like they were having to push and pull the wheel over. Some of these issues have since been overcome by the teams, as they've worked through different geometry settings with the drivers. I think it's pretty obvious that these two things go hand in hand, as Mercedes search for both performance and drivability. In fact, you might argue that without POU, they may not have even chased this concept at all, and equally, had we not been coming to the end of a rule set, where the game really changes next year, they might not have dusted off that idea that could have been filed away in a drawer somewhere for years labelled, well... Maybe it's a little bit too complex. In terms of legality, that's really one for the FIA, who'll now surely have all the other teams banging on their door asking for clarifications surrounding what can and can't be done. And if they can't do it swiftly and believe it gives a lasting advantage, they'll be sure to protest it, much like they did when the double deck diffusers landed in 2009. I hope you've enjoyed this short video on the Mercedes DAS system. If you have, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more in the future.